Moving to another question, it has caused a lot of concern for some years now and uh, has been commented on adversely even by a regulator. This is independence of the statutory auditor and the perception of absence of independence arising out of non-audit work being done by the stat auditor. Is that uh, something that we have put to bed or is that still work in progress? Uh, it is still work in progress because uh, what happens is, uh, you take for in India, for example, a uh, few firms voluntarily said they will not do any non-audit services other than uh, or rather any non-attest services they will not do because there are certain attest services which are required, certifications which are required, which only an auditor can do, which is in addition to the auditor. But the uh, big uh, chunk, which is tax advisory and many other advisory things which are permitted, uh, subject to, of course, NFRA holding a different view, those uh, it has the same issue because we are trying to address four different risks or threats. There is a threat of self-review. There is a threat of misplaced confidence, which is addressed through rotation. There is a threat of advocacy, which still remains because you are, you are the tax advisor and you are relying on you, your colleague is the tax advisor and you, you as an auditor are reviewing the tax provision where the interpretations of your colleague are there. It's not exactly a self-review or you, therefore you are, there's an advocacy threat and there is a threat of intimidation, which is depends upon how much of that entity is, uh, how much of the group uh, forms part of your income. Okay. Then there is a threat of intimidation. So the point I'm coming to is there's a, why is there a lot of work in progress? This whole principle of in independence comes in a way from the Zulu proverb, which says a dog with a bone in its mouth cannot bark. So if you have other services, you cannot bark. So call it what you mean. You can say taxes, uh, service is not, is permitted. Therefore, what is wrong? But address the principle. If you want to address the principle that an auditor should not do any service and therefore he's free to bark, then you can't allow others because it will impact the profession. Many chartered accountants, you know, small and medium uh, do tax services for their clients. So how can we suddenly do all of those things will be the issue. So I, there is a lot of work in progress and I don't think it will get overnight completed. Uh, my own guess is uh, hopefully it's somewhere one should say for the top 100, top 500 companies, auditors should not render any service or any non-attest service. So at least the big firms should be able to manage. If you have a 25% market share, you have the rest 75 uh, to be able to do other for companies to render other services. Then over a period of time, we can have that as a law.